Hey guys, my name is Mandy. Welcome to another video. Today, I suppose you're wondering why I'm surrounded by books. It doesn't look as bad to you, but like, there are books everywhere. Today, I'm going to be counting and like looking at all the books that I haven't read yet that basically are on my physical TBR. I'm actually so scared to find out the numbers. I'm gonna make a guess now and I'm gonna say I have at least over 70. That might be a little bit inaccurate, but I believe I have over 70 because I have over 100 books, I think. Unless that's changed since I last counted. If you guys are excited, let me know down below like what you guys are guessing before you know. Like, obviously no cheating, but like, what do you guys reckon? Like, make your guesses now. Oh wait. They made guesses. But yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. I'm so excited, but I'm also really scared. Hey guys, editing Maddie here. Just wanted to make a quick like disclaimer, I guess. Is that what you call it? Um, basically my voice is completely fucked up in this video and it's just not working because I had a really bad cold. So please ignore the croakiness of my voice and the fact that it sounds so weird because I literally was so ill. And also this video is like filmed like a week ago. So for example, I've read The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing and I've also got more books than I had then. So the numbers are right because I have bought two more books since then. So they do make up for me reading Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. So technically the numbers aren't wrong, but I just wanted to make a quick disclaimer saying that. Okay, anyway, also this video is very hectic, so just a little warning. Okay, bye! Okay, so we're just gonna start off by showcasing all the books that I have. So we'll go from this stack and then we'll make our way through. I'm in the middle of filming a um, bookshelf kind of tour. I'm like redoing my bookshelf. So I thought this was a good time to like just quickly do this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna just like show you guys all the books that I have. So, okay. A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. Slow Jason Thorne by Ella Mays. Booked on a Feeling by JC Lee. You, Me, On Vacation by Emily Henry. Roommate by Rosie Dannon. Dana and Dannon. Sorry if I say any of these names wrong, by the way. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Love Hypothesis by Ali Hazelwood. I'll Be Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Flawless by Elsie Silva. The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Wolfer. Believe Me by J.P. Delaney. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. Five Girls Died, Five Girls Died, The Chili Does by Cara Thomas. I do have a bookmark in this one because I did start it already, but These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriella Zevin. A Merry Little Meet Cute by Judy Murphy and Sierra Simone. Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. Love on the Brain by Ali Hazelwood. Beach Read by Emily Henry. In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. The Honeymoon is by Christina Lauren. Justin Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. Okay, at least it's on me, not on the on the floor. I've just realized I should probably be counting while I'm doing this, but I'm not gonna remember. So I'm probably just gonna do that at the end. So we've got Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. These are Delights by Chloe Gong. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Light Larks by Alex Astor. The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Magnolia Parks by Jesse Hastings. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I know you guys are going to come at me for not reading this yet, but okay. If You'd Been With Me by Laura Nolan. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Until I Met You by Amber Rose Gill. Things Never Got Over by Lucy School. The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. Scandalized by Ivy Owens. Boy or Strangers by Renee Carlino. Or oh, Renee, I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. The Fixer by Claudia Carroll. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. Sorry if I said that wrong. Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. The Do Over and Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Terms and Conditions and The Final Offer both by Lauren Asher. King of Wrath and King of Pride by Anna Huang. Now I'm not going to take them off the shelf, but I'll just read them out to you because I've redone my shelf and I think they look really pretty. So we've got Legendary Finale by Stephanie Garber. Lord of Silver Flames by Sarah J Maas and Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Maas. Kingdom of the Feared by Karen Manny Scalco. The Wicked King and the Queen of Nothing both by Holly Black. There is like the rest of the Memories and Neglect series, like Cream and Crime, Death in the Spotlight, Top Marks for Murder, Death with Sale, but I might not include those because I don't know if I'm ever going to read those because they are my childhood books, so I don't know if I want to read them now. The Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Live the Night by Riley Sager. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. This Waving Kingdom by Tahara Mathy. Using Hope by Colleen Hoover. Finding Celerana and Finding Perfect by Colleen Hoover. Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Layla by Colleen Hoover. I actually think that's all for my physical CVR. I do have four books down there, but I don't think I'm ever going to read them, but I'll read them out anyway. 
After by Anna Todd, and I don't know if I'm ever going to read this because it's a Wattpad novel. I never went through a Wattpad phase. I don't think I want to read a book on Wattpad. And plus, I don't think I want to read this. I got this from a blind date with a book, and I don't think I want to do this. So I might not read this, but I am keeping it just in case I change my mind. This was a gift from a friend. I don't know if I'm ever going to read this, but it's Every Day by David Levithan. I know it just doesn't interest me, but it was a birthday gift from a friend, so I'm keeping it. Oh my god, I told a lie, there's five back here. Okay, we got the flat share by Bethy Leary. I got this cover, and I hate this cover so much. I'm not going to get rid of it, but I might not read it. Not because of the cover, but just, I don't know. I don't know, something about it. And then finally, we've got One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McMagnus and Sadie by Courtney Summers. Okay, those are all the books that I have physically that I haven't read. It's time to count them. Okay, so I've counted and it's around 76. If I included these, it would be 27, 78, 79, 80. If I included the Memorizing New Life books, it would be 80, but I might not include those. So I've got a total of 76 books that I have not read. That doesn't sound like a lot compared to like other people, but for me, that's a lot. That's a lot. Because I started reading at the end of, like the very end of August last year. So from then to now, in a year, I've accumulated over 100 books and 76 of those, which I haven't read that's crazy now i'm going to continue filming my other video and i have to put all these unread books back on the cart i know it's so stressful anyway that's it for this video i'm going to put all these books back on the cart now um and continue my other video and if you guys want to check that out go check that out and i hope you guys enjoyed and let me know down below if you want me to do like a updated version of this like maybe in a year or so if i'm still doing my youtube channel which i should be doing but if you want me to do like an updated version in like a few months or something let me know down below because i'd love to do that and see how many i've done in like a month or if you want me to do like a video of like reading as many books off my TBI as I can, then I'd love to do that because I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to knock them off because my cart is like full at this point. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube stuff and comment down below whatever you want. And like, let me know if you like this video. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this really short video. I hope you guys have a lovely day or night and hopefully I'll see you guys somewhere else on the internet. Bye guys.